Yeah, TRB, we recently did a, a skimmer skiff for Best Boat, and now we're doing our second one. I'm really excited with the progress on this boat. Uh, the dash panel's done, the guys have got some of the plumbing work in, they've got some of the electrical stuff, I've seen some of the stereo stuff going in. Royce has removed all the, the deck hardware and I've just got it back in my booth and I'm about to start prepping it for Cerakoting. Now Cerakoting is a ceramic coating that we bake onto hardware. It's incredibly tough. We like it because we can take a stainless steel fitting and we can make it virtually any color we want. But this particular set of deck hardware, we do in a, in a matte black or a satin black to match the rest of the boat. After we've washed the product, it's really important that you never touch it with a bare hand. So we put a pair of uh, nitrile gloves on, we move it over to the sandblast cabinet. Inside the sandblast cabinet, we have an aluminum oxide set to a specific grit to get the type of finish that we need. Sandblasting is really important because this is gonna be what gives a key for the Cerakote to stick to. So once we've sandblasted everything, there's often a bit of grit that sticks to it. We've also got to make sure that there's no contaminants in the sand. So it goes back into the acetone for half an hour again, and from there, it goes to the oven. By baking it off, it often allows some of the stuff to evaporate, especially the chemicals. Once we've done with the initial bake, we inspect everything. It is then put into the little spray booth to get ready for the Cerakote in process. So when you mix in Cerakote, the ratio of product to catalyst dictates the finish that you get. So if you want in a, a more of a glossy finish, you use less catalyst. By adding more catalyst, you'll go from a satin to a, a matte finish. We wanted to go for a satin finish on this. So I then mixed the catalyst to the ratio that I needed, and I believe it was like 18 to one. When you are laying Cerakote down, a big mistake a lot of people make is they either put too little, in other words, they put a dry coat down, which means that when you spray it, um, your paint is almost drying before it gets to the product. And the second mistake people make is they put too much product on. So it's really important that you learn to spray Cerakote to the correct mold thickness. I spray my parts in batches and then I load them into the oven. Once they're all loaded in the oven, I then have a period of time that I need to bake the products off for. The specific time is metal products are baked at 300 for an hour. And let them cool down and um, I like to leave them until the next day before I take them out of the oven. If I have to take them out of the oven, I like to leave them hanging. I, I kind of have a feeling that if you give them sort of a good 24 hours before you mess with them, it's just a little better. Like anything that you do, um, you always feel you can do better. But I definitely think that um, bar one or two parts, they came out great. The project, the whole project is moving along really, really well at the moment. We've got a bunch of parts arriving this week and it's gonna be great to have everything together, have a good look at the boat, go and do a sea trial and see how the boat performs.